Hi guys, co-tutor here. My name is Anil Deshpande. This is the third video in the mobile app development for dummy series. In this particular video, we will see the remaining one, mobile enterprise application platforms or also sometimes referred to as MADPs. So let us see what are all the approaches in this particular case. You can build the apps in any way that is possible. You can build either web cross platform or a native or a cross compiler. If you are using IBM Worklight or mobile first or SAP mobile platform, you can use native app application development methodology also. If at all you want to do web cross platform development methodology, IBM Worklight or mobile first and SMP both of the platforms support this methodology. If you want to have a cross compiled methodology, then Kony is the most preferred one. Most of the enterprises apps like financial apps, banking apps, multi data source based apps typically use this particular methodology. Now the question is when to use this MEEP methodology. I have found the Gartner's rule of three to be very useful to decide whether you should go ahead with the MEEP development methodology. If you need to support three or more mobile applications, that is you are building not just one app, multiple number of apps, preferably it is more than three apps, support three or more mobile OSs, that is Android, iOS, Windows and even Blackberry and you need to integrate with at least three backend data sources. I mean you already have a existing infrastructure for the client, the data source is mainly coming from the existing infrastructure and you need to reutilize that for your mobile application then this methodology is the best way i mean all these three criteria should get satisfied you can support multiple platforms possibly with the single code base meeps provide most of the out of box features that you can use in your application development such as backend integration security which might be related to data, app or the device itself, single sign-on feature, cloud infrastructure, session management, mobile device management. If you try to implement these from very scratch on your own, then it becomes really cumbersome. And that is where all these MEEPs are very useful. And it is also easy to integrate the mobile app to an already existing client infrastructure. The disadvantages are because most of these are proprietary platforms it takes some time to understand how the whole platform works sometimes there is a delay in syncing up with the new native api releases as and when these os's come up with the new versions of the os and new apis these platforms may not update to them very quickly so if at all you want to support the most recent version of the os then you may have to wait for some time for these platforms to update themselves you have a vendor dependency because once you get hooked to SAP infrastructure and you decide to go ahead with SMP, you cannot suddenly switch to IBM mobile first or Kony suddenly because there are a lot of dependency involved, the middleware which makes use of the whole IBM worklight in case you are using IBM will have to continue to be dependent on that. Some platform specific issues uh, still persist. It is just like uh, any cross compiler platform or a uh, mobile web where you cannot solve all the issues across the platform. Almost all of the MEEPs and MADPs involve some kind of infrastructure setup to get started with the mobile application development. It is not as simple as getting started with a native application development and there are some licensing involved. Platforms are still maturing. The only thing that is left now is the native. So let us now go through how native development methodology looks like and what are the advantages and disadvantages of these. The approach is pretty simple. You develop the mobile apps using the platform specific programming language. In case of Android, it would be Java. In case of iOS, it would be Objective C and Swift, Windows, C Sharp. And you use platform specific development tools. You use Android Studio in case of Android. It used to be Eclipse for some time back, but uh, officially now it has been Android Studio. In case of iOS development, you use Xcode. And in case of Windows, you use Visual Studio. What are the pros? You can harness the full hardware capability of the device because platform will provide access to the, all the APIs. From the developer perspective, it is easy to access 
all the APIs provided by the OS and the platform while developing the application. You get a very platform specific consistent design. You can achieve that. There is a tighter integration with the platform specific development tools, which increases productivity as far as development is concerned. And you can also harness the device hardware capabilities. Most of these mobile devices have sensors like accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer. So you can utilize these things in a much efficient manner because the native platform will provide you all the necessary APIs without anything that will hinder the performance of the app. You can achieve the best user experience using the native development methodology. You can build the app in such a way that uh, it is always forward compatible because as platforms develop, the OSS release new APIs and go for the next version. They already take care of this capability very easily and best possible performance can be achieved using this particular methodology. And to name some of the examples, any app which involve a lot of performance intensive activities like gaming use native development methodology because the performance is best. And most of the built-in apps provided by the OS, like a caller app or a calendar, they use the native development methodology. Even I have developed a mobile application which is available on the Google Play, my grocery list. That I have developed using the native development methodology for Android. What are the disadvantages? App will work for only that platform for which it has been designed and implemented for because you use the platform specific tools and whatever the final deliverable file that you get it will work only for that particular platform if you are developing an app for android the deliverable file in this case which is apk cannot work for a ios what happens in mobility is you are not asked to develop one single app clients want the same app for multiple platforms so if you are going ahead with native development methodology you need to do the development effort again and again for multiple platforms. It leads to multiple code bases. There will be loss of consistency across the app. We have seen many instances where the same feature on one platform works perfectly fine, but there will be some issues in on another platform. Maintenance cost because you have to deal with multiple code bases. You have to maintain the source code of multiple platforms. You also need to have more number of developers because Android developer more often than not will not be familiar with uh, Microsoft uh, Windows development. So it increases the development cost. If I try to put everything in a nutshell and uh, do a very simplified crude generalization of uh, what all these different platforms can achieve, I can represent it in a matrix. Mm -hmm. At one side, I will just put what are all the different uh, development methodologies at the other side the various capabilities those methodologies can provide. Starting with the native, it can give you performance, rich UI. You can leverage the platform capabilities to the maximum, but you can only develop for a one single platform. That is a very targeted platform specific development can be achieved. In case you are following a mobile website, you can support multiple platform and you can also achieve a very quick release. Uh, that is the advantage but you lose out on so many other things if you consider a cross-platform mobile web you can leverage multiple platform to some extent that is why i have given a yellow background there support multiple platform and you can release the app in a very quick fashion because you are dealing with only one single code base and if you are talking about cross-compiled cross-platform then you can achieve performance you can target multiple platforms also do a quick release but there will be some disadvantages even though you can achieve a rich ui and leverage the platform specific capabilities to a maximum extent but not to a full extent coming to the meeps that is mobile enterprise application platforms and MADPs, if you are following a targeted platform development then you can achieve performance rich ui and leverage the platform but quick release cannot be achieved because you are still doing the targeted platform specific implementation. You will be having multiple code bases. In case if you want to do a multi-platform development, then you can go ahead with the MEEP or MADPs which support cross-platform development. You can leverage a platform to some extent, but not to a full extent as you would in case you were following the targeted platform development. So there is some disadvantage there, but you can do a very quick release of the overall 
mobile application. Just let me know your thoughts, uh, what else that you would like to know. Give me your feedback. Subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.